Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Futures Morning Leap Session for August the 22nd. It is Monday. It is gorgeous out. Hopefully, everybody had a wonderful weekend. My name is Doug McKay. I'm the founder of Quantum Leap Futures. Each morning, we get together to take a look at the market macro to micro, take a look at the structure of the market, and then we drill down to our trade levels, our targets, and our four main hypotheses today. We trade an if-then-that strategy here. In other words, we're looking for what the market could possibly do uh, based on the four hypos and then have a plan in place for uh, contingency on what our, whatever hypo plays its hand. Nobody can predict the market. We can only predict what we're going to do in the market. This is a subscription room, so if you're interested in checking it out, I will put up my contact information in just one second. Before I do, please read through the disclaimer. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results, and any trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please trade your own due diligence, your own trade plan, and your own risk metrics. Okay, so um, our main hypothesis on... Uh, on Friday was a open auction in range, a move up and then failure and a move down towards 69. Our uh, secondary hypothesis was a move down and somewhere between 76 and 74, maybe even the 7250 key line in the sand, rotate back up and then up through value and up towards uh, that 8950 naked VPOC. And again, another tight day. We kind of just, uh, you know, chopped around at the uh, lower distribution of the prior day before getting a little bit of a rally into the close, but failing to go in and close that naked close at 83 and a quarter or break out of the prior day range. Uh, very tight trading range. Um, my information, if you want to come and uh, check us out, quantumleapfutures at gmail.com. There's no website. There's no blog. This is not a commercial venture. Uh, you can also give me a call or send me a Skype contact request. I'll be the one from Windsor, Ontario, Canada. And if you like what we do here, there's over 400 days on YouTube of these pre-market sessions. You can get an idea of what we do every day and what our uh, track record is. And then if you like what I do, please follow me on Twitter at crazy Two. Okay, so take a quick look at the news. There is none today, although this week is a big week of news. Of course, we've got Jackson Hole coming out. Uh, tomorrow, we have uh, consumer confidence and new home sales and rich manufacturing are the big ones. And then on Wednesday, uh, we have existing home sales and crude inventory. And then Thursday is the uh, start of the Jackson Hole Symposium where uh, Yellen will be speaking and mostly talking about a rake height. They're already uh, all over the uh, boards this morning. Uh, we also have durable goods, unemployment claims. And then on Friday, uh, we have uh, GDP, and uh, then we've got uh, Yellen speaking at the uh, Jackson Hole Conference and then uh, Uni University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment. And uh, so we should get... Uh, some uh, some fireworks this week. Um, interesting to note that this is this week last year uh, was when we had that limit down in pre-market on the China news. Uh, so keep that in mind. The other thing to keep in mind is that uh, even though last week was only a seven. Here, let me bring up the chart. Just going to the weekly here. Even though uh, we've had eight straight weeks, which has only happened twice in 20 years, the net gain on the week was only seven ticks overall. And then we've opened this week at 2181.75. It's going to be crucial to see how we handle above or below that 2180. Uh, uh, 175 and whether or not we get our ninth week which is only be the second time in history uh, of 20 years or we get the first you know we you know we get our first uh, bull uh, bearish week and we come down and test some of these lower numbers nobody knows what's going to happen but let's just take a look at the trend see where we're going <coughs> 
you see that the trend is uh, in a continuation pattern here. Uh, we had, uh, this is a 9 EMA, 20 SMA. I'm looking for slope and separation, where they're being challenged, and uh, they've taken it back. Of course, on the weekly, we've had a very strong trend. The, uh, the pullback to test the trend on the weekly is going to be down at 21.54. Uh, 50 area, we have a key naked VPOC at uh, 2153.75. And then to break the trend or violate the trend, we'd have to get below the 2109 and a quarter. Uh, very strong trend still on the weekly. Going to the daily, you can see that uh, we're starting to get some, uh, some loss of slope and separation. We're going you know, more sideways on the daily. We have uh, balance. Uh, 10-day uh, balance now in around the 77, 79 area. The microcomposite VPOC did shift up to 79 on Friday. I'll show you that in a minute, but uh, we are below the 9 right now and, uh, and uh, you know, testing that 77, 75 area yet again. Uh, going to the intraday, you can see that uh, we're sideways consolidation on the 4-hour sideways consolidation on the one hour basically solid sideways consolidation on the uh, on the 30 minute but we are below the 9 and the 20 and uh, have a possible start of a uh, downward trend you can see that more clearly on the 15 minute uh, we just tried to get above the 9 but we're below we do have a naked cross above us at 21 call it 2179.75 and then on the five minute you see we've had this uh, pretty strong downward uh, trend uh, basically um, from the high overnight uh, after it was put in we do have an eight cross up here at 82.75 And, you know, we've, we've broken the downward trend and we're trying to start a new trend to the upside, but uh, we're currently right now we're coming back down to test the 20. Uh, so, so very mixed coming into, uh, the key here is it's very mixed coming into, there's no clear direction overall. The longer terms are, uh, time frames are still, uh, you know, showing trend up, but we're seeing some consolidation and some two-sided trading right now uh, on the uh, intra intraday Globex. So we've had uh, this balance that we were in around the 20, 60, 75. We broke out of that. They came up and they were uh, accepting value at 77 and a, uh, and a quarter, 77.50, 77.75. The, and we had uh, two HVNs with uh, the last three days being up at 79 and a quarter, but now it's shifted up and the dominant price are accepting price higher up here at 79 and a quarter. So uh, that's still looking to be uh, bearish, uh, sorry, bullish uh, in the long run. Um, do we get a pullback this week? I don't know. Um, it's, you know, it's quite conceivable, uh, but this, the, this is very strong. I think, that if Yellen uh, does announce that they are going to raise rates in September or they're leaning heavily towards it, we could see the pullback this week. So I'm looking for weakness. Uh, I'm going to start trying to sell rallies. And uh, if we stay below the 2181.75 uh, week open, I'm going to be predominantly looking for good opportunities to short that have high probability that I can stay in and see if I can catch a ride if this is going to be the week down towards the 2160.75 and the 2150 and maybe even come down into the uh, 45s again. Uh, we do not know what is uh, uh, going to transpire. We can only play the levels themselves. Key levels to keep an eye on, we've got double distribution here at 77.75 and 79 and a quarter. Our value area high is 83, uh, 83 and a quarter on the 
uh, on the microcomposite. The key line in the sand above us is 8550. We get above that, then I think we do, uh, you know, uh, try to make a run to the 2200s, at least to a new all-time high above the 2190-7175. 7250 is going to remain the line in the sand. The warning line was at 75. Uh, 50, I'm moving it down to 74 and a quarter, uh, a little bit tight, but, uh, you know, this is below 74 and a quarter. That puts us testing the month open at 74, and I would believe that they would come down and test the 72.50, and then that will be key. Uh, we bounced off it again over uh, overnight. We uh, got a low overnight at 21.75.50 and bounced. Um, so... Uh, I'm sorry, 71.75.50, and we uh, bounced. So we bounced off of the 75 range. We could not get uh, uh, below the microcomposite value area. And then the key target below 72.50 is going to be uh, the 67 and a quarter, the next big target. That's the value area high, and the CHVN was 65.50, uh, offering a little bit of support. But anything under that, we're looking for a move into the 60. Uh, 75 and those uh, those targets below that we'll look at right now. Before I do do that, uh, I wanted to just take a look at the COT report. Uh, commitment of trader report is pretty much the same. You can see that commercial is getting even more net short. The uh, retail is net short, but the large speculators are still net positive and getting more net positive. So. I doubt they're going to be the bag holders, uh, so I'm not calling a top, not even close to it, as we, you know, will likely, before we get the top, see both the large spec and the commercial paper get ne negative and leave the retails uh, above to uh, hold the bag, um, just as they did on this run-up. So no real good information on the commitment. I was, I was hoping to see... Uh, a bit of a change uh, in this pattern right here, but you can see we're, we're basically uh, where we were last week. Uh, again, though that report is compiled up to Tuesday and only put out on Friday, so it's, you know, there's a, 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 about a week lag there that we have to worry about, you know, what happened. I don't know why they do it there. I, th I thought they should compile it till Thursday and put the data out on Friday. But I don't do it, so nothing I can do. Um, so take a look at the, uh, the overnight right now. So our overnight low is 75.50. There's a little LVN right here at 75.75, and the first standard deviation below the VWAP uh, on Friday. And our overnight high is 84.50. So that was a bounce off of the, uh, the range high from Thursday. And... Our VPOC is not likely going to change. It's going to be 77, 75, so back where the microcomposite was. And it's pretty toothy, so very boxy looking profile, so not a lot of information that we can, uh, we basically traveled through value several times last night, once down, then up, and then back down, and now we're trying to work our way back up. 24-hour um, VWAP is sitting at uh, 79.50, and the key uh, LVN to me is going to be this uh, 79 and a quarter because that's the microcomposite VPOC uh, that we have currently. Other than that, there's not a lot of information. Uh, you know, left a week low below us uh, overnight, uh, but kind of a week high developing multi-day. Um, so, again, not a lot of information that we can uh, glean from the overnight session other than both sides were, you know, uh, pushing. Our 20-period uh, daily ATR is shrunk down. It's almost at 14. It's 14.11. So, off of the high overnight at 21.84.50 minus uh, 14.11. That puts our daily downside ATR target 
uh, unchanged at 2170. Uh, well, it's up one uh, to a quarter. And off of the low overnight of 71.75.50 plus the 14 and 11, uh, it's 71.89.75. Um, so one tick. So you can see that, you know, Friday and uh, Friday and today and overnight, we've had some, you know, decent balance and. Uh, you know, not much uh, movement in either direction. All right, so take a look at the levels. Uh, we do have this LVN at 78 and a quarter with an overnight LVN at 79 uh, and a quarter. I'm going to use the 78 uh, and a quarter. It's the VWAP. It's actually 78.75. If you notice that we opened at 78.75 on Thursday RTH session and on Friday's uh, RTH uh, session. So I'm going to be using that as a uh, a uh, trade level. Of course, my warning line is going to be the overnight low at 75.50. I don't think the 76.75 is something that you can lean against the value area from Friday. I think you got to use the 75.75. <coughs> Um, and then uh, the month open below it is 74. And then our key line in the sand is not going to change. It is going to be the uh, 7250. Uh, that is the IB and the range low and just above the, uh, the what was the daily ATR downside target? 2184.50. Seventy and a quarter. I don't know why that moved. All right, and then we've got the sixty-nine, uh, uh, fifty naked VPOC, sixty-eight support, and then the next big target down here, which is the naked uh, close at sixty-four seventy-five. The naked VPOC at sixty-four and a quarter, and then below that, uh, this is going to change to sixty-five fifty. And there's really nothing uh, uh, between. There's a 6150, but I'm going to use it. Just it's the value area of the last three days before we uh, broke out. And then below that, we've got the 6075 microcomposite VPOC. And then below that, we've got the uh, 5975, 59, and then 57, no, that's going to change, 5675, and then the 53. And that 53 uh, and a quarter is the value area low. That might be a, a good spot that they bounce from. Uh, and then the next key line in the sand is this uh, uh, 2149 and a quarter uh, CLVN. Below that, it gets very thin, and we're likely to make a very strong push through this very quickly and, uh, and see some... Uh, some serious weakness uh, coming in. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, so that's the levels to the bottom. Then you look at the levels above. Of course, above the 7850, uh, looking for them to work their way up and you're going to be targeting that 79 and a quarter, uh, the current microcomposite VPOC to get funded, and then a move up into the uh, close at 81 and a quarter, uh, and our week open at 81.75, our, I'm sorry, naked VPOC, our close is the 81.75, and that is going to be uh, 
a key target for us and key line in the sand. And then above that, you've got the 82 and a quarter, but I'm going to use the 83. And don't think the value areas are, you know, high and low from Friday are going to offer us a lot to lean on because there's stronger, uh, uh, stronger targets uh, uh, above and below them. And then we have the overnight high at 84, uh, 50. We do have the 8550, which is going to be our key line above. And above that, I'm looking for a move up into the 8950 and the all time high at 9075, and anything above that. And we're targeting that breakout of the megaphone um, and pushing up. Uh, the weekly ATR is a run 46.875. I'm not going to worry about putting the levels in today because it's only Monday. Uh, but the 20 period weekly has continued to shrink as well. It's down to 46.875 versus 47.875 uh, from the prior week. Uh, that's going to complete the pre-market session. We're currently below the Keltner lower line, which uh, uh, center line, which is at 21.80 and a quarter. Um, and if we stay below it, a test of the lower Keltner is going to take us down into that 74 area and test the month open and take out the overnight low. Uh, a move above takes uh, the possibility of hitting the upper Keltner at 84. I'm sorry, 85.50 and uh, you know, taking out the overnight high and seeing if we can get above and for continued price discovery up into that 89 and new all-time highs. So that's going to complete the pre-market session. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.